This is Twit. For the, what's the 50,000 foot view? What is, what is LibreOffice online as opposed to just say LibreOffice? Sure. So I think uh, we, we put LibreOffice effectively into your browser, and that gives you loads of different advantages. So, um, you know, it's very easy to manage, so you can deploy it very easily, obviously, to all your users. And that's actually really important when it comes to document standards. So maybe, maybe we can talk about that in a bit. But, you know, in sure. the past, if you've sent a document to someone, they can complain that they can't open it. Uh, there the are all sorts of complaints in the world. But if you send them a URL, um, if they can't open the URL, they don't have a browser, and there's some, probably a more basic problem with them. So, uh, you know, <laughs> so, 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 so hopefully this sort of enlarges the uh, the scope of, of people that can see and collaborate with you around documents. And um, I think the the other key thing is collaborative editing. I think that. So that's, that's, that's collaborative editing. Collaborative editing, sort of like the way Google Docs does it, where two people can actually be editing the document at the same time. Absolutely, exactly that. So you'd see uh, two users' cursors or, or multiple users' cursors. I mean, there's um, there's no formal limit to scalability. I imagine it gets slow when you are above 20, 30 users, this, this kind of thing, depending on your, your hardware. But yeah, so you see their selections, you see their presence. Um, there's some nice features there too, like following the editor. So you can select who you want to follow. And, and often we find in meetings, you know, there are, there are lots of people, uh, 20 people on a call, but one of them is really minuting and the others are just checking it sane and tweaking things and improving stuff and, and maybe reading ahead or writing ahead. And so, you know, it's just a nice feature. So yes, great, great collaboration. And I think people are willing to give, give up a lot for collaboration. I mean, if you, if you look at the, the wiki revolution, you know, the, the wiki threw mm-hmm. away WYSIWYG editing uh, for everybody, you know, you, you couldn't see what it was going to look like. You had terrible formatting tools. Actually, probably appealed to developers a lot, you know, the sort of markdown style of, uh, you know, editing. But you could collaborate and, and your documents lived on the Internet somewhere. And, and that was great. And so, of course, we could bring that collaboration and now rich document editing as well. So it's kind of a beautiful thing. So the, mm. one way to compare this would be saying it's something like what Google Docs is providing us, but but we have control of the source code instead of Google having it locked up in a proprietary place. Absolutely. And I think that that's another really key point, like having it on-premise so you can control it. You, you own your data. Uh, you know, it never even leaves your network, potentially. Um, and that's even more interesting when you start to look at things like uh, Spectre and some of these CPU vulnerabilities. It's not just that you own your data, uh, you know, because you can encrypt in all sorts of ways, but, but actually as it's manipulated, you know it's running on your hardware uh, and your safe network. Uh, your data is not being routed via, you know, from Ireland through Taiwan and back into uh, where you are or, or whatever, you know, that, that might cause you a, a concern. And also, you know, who's running on the same machine. So if you, if you use someone else's cloud hosting environment, sometimes, you know, uh, there's a certain degree of over provisioning or lots of virtual machines often on the same hardware. And how secure is the hardware? It's an interesting question. So, so I, I think, uh, you know, it's just nice to know that you've got control of everything. It's all on your premises. And so a bank or hospital or someone that's deeply concerned about privacy and, and you know, uh, ownership of the data uh, can, can own, their, own that and be uh, fully confident. It's all, it, they control everything. They own everything. I run it on your own hardware and uh, yeah, enjoy.